What's up guys and welcome back to another how to play video. This week I'll be going over how to play Orcs, the newest defender in Rainbow Six Siege, having been introduced with the Operation Void Edge. And before getting into the bulk of things, I would love to mention that I have a playlist about other videos I've made considering how to play Rainbow Six Siege Operators. So feel free to check that out, it'll be down in the description below. And yeah, let's move on. First and foremost, we're definitely going to be going over the loadout. So the main loadout that I would run would be this. I'd be running the MP5 with either Reflex or Red Dot, depending on your preference, with Vertical Grip and Flash Hider. And then the secondary would definitely be the Bailiff. And I just want to let you guys know that if you are going to run Laser Sight, just know that it's mainly to increase your hip fire, and that I personally wouldn't use it, but nonetheless, it's an option. And the reason I'd use the Bailiff is to mainly use it to break hatches. So if you don't really want to break hatches or things like that, I would say use the USP-40. And lastly, the secondary gadget. Of course, it does depend on what situation you're trying to use Oryx for. I've found that I've used barbed wire mainly. Now, next is just a different type of loadout that I want to introduce to you guys, which is the close quarters kind of loadout. And so I'd mainly be running the Spaz 12 with Red Dot and I'd make sure to run no laser sights because I feel like laser sights are a dead giveaway to your position. And also I'd be running the USP 40 with muzzle brake. And similar to the main loadout, the secondary gadget all depends on what situation you're trying to set up for. Next thing we're going to go over is the ability. So. The main thing that I want to get across to you guys is you mainly want to use this ability for close quarter rotations and busting open barricades. Now he is a soft destruction type of operator and nothing's wrong with using oryx to make rotate holes through soft walls. The main thing that I also want to say is just that you gotta use it sparingly if you're going to do it on soft breaching areas because of the health damage that Oryx gets when using his ability through things like soft walls. You will lose 10 health each time, and if you don't have a dock, it's really gonna work against you rather than work for you overall. If you really need to make rotate holes, ask someone on your team to get someone with a shotgun or impact nades, you know, Rook, Smoke, those kind of guys would be more helpful at making rotate holes rather than Oryx himself. If you want to spend the time using your Bailiff, then feel free to. I think that's one of the bigger waste of times though, because of the playstyle that we'll be getting to next. So for the playstyle, I'm going to be pretty much splitting it up into do's and don'ts uh, for operators now. And so let's start off with do's. So as Oryx, you definitely do want to play an offsite anchor. And so just to kind of elaborate, on what an offsite anchor is. It's similar to roaming, but instead of uh, constantly moving around, you're anchoring in one area. So an example might be if you're playing theme park and you are on uh, labs, an offsite anchor might want to anchor um, in maintenance to try and delay the push or completely stop the push uh, from maintenance to where the attackers could possibly open up the reinforced wall next to throne. So that's what an offsite anchor is. They're basically playing off sites, but holding down a certain area. Now, next up, like I mentioned uh, in the ability section of this video is that you want to mainly use his ability for close quarter rotates. And what this means is that say you're in a really close area that you can rotate from a door to another door using uh, the ability and basically not be hit most likely because of you know how fast Oryx is while using the ability. That's the main thing that you wanna do and it's mainly to open up necessary rotate holes. I did talk about how if you wanna open up rotate holes, you should you know ask another operator and you definitely should, but also you know if it's completely necessary and you know your teammates you know, aren't being too nice, you know, feel free to make that rotate hole. Uh, next is considering that offsite anchor, you wanna fall back if you're being challenged like moderately or heavily. And what I mean by that is, say you're, you know, offsite anchoring and you're getting challenged by one of the attackers and they either hit you up a lot to where you're pretty low on health 
or say there's like two or three of them on you, then you know you might want to fire a little bit, then drop down a hatch that you've made maybe to get up there, because as an offsite anchor, you're probably gonna roam up above the site or really close to the site, and I'm gonna assume that there's a hatch around there. And then lastly, if you're trying to stun someone, and what I mean by that is you push them down to where you know they can't really attack you, then you want to make sure that you're close enough and that you will hit them. There's going to be a clip playing right now of an oryx that tried to push me down as a montane and he completely missed and I completely obliterated two of the teammates. Um, it was really funny, <laughs> but yeah, don't be that oryx. And speaking of don'ts, we're going to move on to the don't section. So you don't want to open up sight or sight hatches. And what I mean by that is a hatch that's directly above sight that opens up to sight unless you are 99% sure you're not going to die and you're going to be watching those hatches. And then next is there's no reason to use his ability uh, well in an open area. So opposite to using his ability in close quarter areas, you don't want to use his ability in very open areas. So an, uh, an example might be in the main open area, the uh, lobby of bank. There's no reason for me as Oryx to be using my speed ability, especially if it's not during the prep phase. Just an example. And that's pretty much it for the playstyle. Let's move on to building a team around Oryx next. So if you're really trying to make Oryx shine as an operator on your team, uh, the best way to build a team around Oryx would definitely to have a dock so that you can really open up a lot of areas and you know not really be punished for it. And then next is considering the playstyle of offsite anchoring, having a castle uh, to castle up a few places around that offsite anchoring Oryx would be really nice. And then lastly, I'd say if you're trying to get information, make sure to have someone like Valk or even an echo and whatnot like some you know just things like that uh that's pretty much it just like a base overlook of it and yeah well i hope you guys have learned something from this how to play video and if you want to see more how to play videos go check the playlist down in the description below and consider subscribing for weekly rainbow six siege content and lastly if you guys want to join the discord server where it has a whole bunch of things about staying up to date with me on social media in general and also just seeing other people who are you know into rainbow six siege consider joining it again link in the description below that's all for me i'll see you guys in the next one deuces